Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. Now I want to give you all an update about the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus overheating and train issues, as well as address a couple of other issues that iPhone 7 users may be experiencing and questions about iPhone 7 iOS 14 compatibility. Before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber it truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 13 did not have the greatest debut back in September. It was very buggy and unstable release, even with iOS 13.1 following shortly after. Updates later, iOS 13 has gotten much better, however, it still has a fair share of issues. Now, it seems that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus models are the most affected by some of the biggest issues. The most popular issues that iPhone 7 users seem to be experiencing are battery drain and significant overheating. Now, I covered both of these issues a while back, and if you haven't seen that video, you can right here. Let's start off with talking about battery drain. Many iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users have been reporting noticeable battery drain issues across all versions of iOS 13. This ranges from iOS 13.0 to 13.4.5 Beta 2. When iOS 13.5 Beta 3 released, many iPhone 7 users, including myself, noticed that there was much less drain than before. From iOS 13.5 Beta 3 to the latest iOS 13.5 Beta 4, the battery drain issue seems to have been fixed for many. This is amazing news and I'm really glad to see this. If you're on iOS 13.4.1 or older and are experiencing battery drain, I've made a tips and tricks video to help you get better battery which you can view right here in case you missed it. Other than that, there isn't much you can do right now except for wait for the full release of iOS 13.5. With battery drain fixed for the most part, that means that overheating has been fixed, right? No, in fact, overheating has seen very little to no improvement in my experience. These overheating issues occur when doing the most basic of basic tasks. I've even read comments of users saying that simply swiping through pages on the home screen would cause their iPhone 7 or 7 Plus to overheat. How true that is, I can't say as it seems a little exaggerated, but I thought I'd mention it regardless. I noticed my iPhone 7 getting very hot when simply switching between iCloud accounts and settings. Many users have even said that their iPhone 7s get very hot when playing games like PUBG or Fortnite. Now this is a lot more reasonable as they are more graphic intensive games and just heavier overall. To the extent at which users are saying that their iPhones get hot while playing these games is where things get slightly worse. Some have said that their phones get too hot to touch. Now that's not a good thing in any way, and if that happens to you, I'd recommend to stop using the iPhone until it cools down a bit. The overheating issue has not gotten that bad in my experience personally, but I've heard it countless times. This is an issue that can even have a long-term effect on battery health. This is an issue that Apple really needs to get on top of. Some iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users have been complaining about RAM management issues. Back when iOS 13.2 released, there were many complaints about RAM management across all iPhone models. Users would experience constant reloads on apps in the background, and this has since been fixed but lately more complaints have been brought to my attention. And of course, the iPhone most were reporting this on was no other than iPhone 7. As of right now, there are no known fixes for this, and I've not experienced this issue personally, meaning I can't tell you if this issue has been fixed in the latest iOS 13.5 beta or not. Now let me know in the comments if you're on iOS 13.5 and what your experience has been with RAM management. If you're one of my somewhat older viewers, you may remember me releasing a video talking about an iPhone 7 hardware issue, the audio IC defect. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I've noticed more comments asking me about why the voice memos app isn't working or why Siri is broken or why there are grayed out buttons in a phone call, etc. Those are all symptoms of the audio IC defect. Now the audio IC defect is caused by the soldering which connects the audio IC chip to the logic board failing as it grows weaker over time. Not every iPhone 7 is affected, however. This issue only affects iPhone 7 models sold between early 2017 and late 2018. Sadly, there is no way to fix this, so you'll most likely have to have Apple replace it. The symptoms of the audio IC defect are the following. Siri not working as expected, grayed out buttons during a phone call, boot loop, voice memos not working as expected, microphone not picking up audio properly, and possible speaker issues. As you all know, June 22nd is when Apple will be holding their annual WWDC event. During WWDC 20, Apple will announce the latest major releases for tvOS, watchOS, iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. This means that we will finally see iOS 14 and all it has to offer, as well as the first developer beta. Now every time Apple releases a new major software version, they always drop support for older iPhones. With one exception being iOS 12, however that was only due to the fact that iOS 12 is strictly focused on performance, stability, and bug fixes. I've read a lot of comments asking me about whether or not the iPhone 7 will support this upcoming release. 
And I'm here to tell you that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus will be receiving iOS 14. I'd be shocked if Apple dropped the iPhone 7 this year. The iPhone 7 is more than powerful enough to run iOS 14. Now in regards to the current issues, I hope to see them all fixed before the release of iOS 14 or at least during the beta period. The overheating issue is something that really needs to be fixed, as well as the RAM management issues. Now I have no clue to what could be causing this, and all I can do is guess. Now as for the audio IC issue, sadly it is inevitable if your iPhone was manufactured within that time period, and even with all these negatives, we can still end off on a somewhat positive when we add in the possible battery drain fix in iOS 13.5 and iOS 14 support. Let me know in the comments what iOS version you're running, and if you've experienced any of these issues. Now as always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.